Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Now we are finally in version 0 .18, 0 .18, and I am excited. I've done a little bit of working on this and I know what I'm doing now but it's still new and I'm excited and as you can see the new menu is different. Munner Bust, Exploded Rocket Ship, so Flaming Apple. Let's go in. Now when you first log in it looks about the same but as soon as you go into vehicle assembly building you'll see that things are different. You'll see that the design and that the icons for everything is are very different. And so let's name this our first satellite. And I probably spelled that wrong. No matter. And so you'll see that they've added in new things. These are unmanned spacecraft and unmanned required resources. Electric charge 1.7 per minute. Resource electric charge 5 out of 5. So that these do require an electric charge. Uh, in order to work, and so I think that we should make a satellite for our first um, rocket or anything like that. So let's add in. Hmm, I'm trying to pick. Yeah, this one looks fine. Why not? Let's also look at Sputnik. Hmm, I'm trying to decide which one. So it's just uh. Let's just stick with this box one. And so let's go through all the new things. They, the biggest thing I've noticed is that the designs for everything has been changed. These are the normal fuel tanks that used to be for the liquid fuel engines. And the only thing that I really see right here that is the same are these big uh, engines. But if you look at our non-vectoring normal engine, it looks very different as well as our vectoring engine. Look very, very different. And so they've made a lot of changes. I'm not sure if I like it. I'm probably going to love it after I get used to it. But yeah, next we have control. That's all the same. The RCS looks a little bit more blocky though. Let's see if I can zoom in on this in a bit. Uh, hmm. Alright. You can't, may not be able to see it, but it does look a lot blockier. And so let's move this over into the center more. Alright, so that looks the same. Structural, they've added more things. They've added a lot more different decouplers. Uh, they've also added this in, which will be good for docking. All the different points that you can dock in, so you can make like a space station. They've added in a bicoupler, and the old tricoupler is still there. Though they both look very different. Next you have arrow, and they've added a lot more winglets into here. Utility. Now, rechargeable packs. This is going to be necessary in order for our satellite. So let's add this one in. Alright, looks good. Now we can add in the next thing, which are solar panels. Uh, photovoltaic cells, solar panels, same thing, just a fancy name. And so let's add several of these in. Let's add foreign. There we go. Uh, let's move this up some. And let's also add a decoupler. Well, before decoupler, let's add an advanced SAS. <sighs> having trouble attaching this. There we go. And then a decoupler. I'm having trouble finding this stuff because I'm not used to it. And you'll see that it only adds in the decoupler on the bottom right. And that's to make it look cleaner, and it looks much better in my opinion. Uh, the second thing in utility that I didn't show is that they've added in a lot more different sizes of parachutes. So there's a side-mounted one here, and they also have a standard old one. And so that's going to be useful, since they've added a lot of different sides, a lot more different types of landing struts. And under science is where I really see the biggest changes. Um, they have added communitrons, which are antennas, so let's add some on, mm, let's say, here, and some of these other ones on right there. And now, if you listen in the background, they also have music playing, so I'm going to turn up the sound and stop talking for a bit so you can hear it. So kind of an interesting soundtrack, uh, and I'm sure if you like it, you can just keep it playing, but if you are not interested in hearing some nice music while you are 
piloting your curveballs, you can, of course, turn it off. So, the first thing I added was an accelerometer, and so whenever you're burning, you are changing speed, and this is what that will show. Barometer, this will not work in a vacuum, but I'm going to add it in anyways. Let's move this up here, actually. Let's just add one, actually. Just one. Alright. And what else do I have? A uh, gravioloid detector, which is, detects the force of gravity in acceleration, meters per second, I believe. And a, a uh, thermometer. So next what we want to add is, since we have the basic satellite down, I think that I also want to add an RCS fuel tank to help move around in space. RCS. And the blocky engines for it. Cool. Uh, the decoupler. Now let's add a double fuel tank for a vectoring engine right here. And a vectoring engine. Let's move this up some. Uh, okay. Nope, don't. That's not what I want to move. Alright, let's move these here actually. Okay, and now we grab this box and shift it up. No problems there, and a decoupler, and what happens if you add these onto an engine, the new decouplers, is that it looks really cool. Add it on, and it covers the engine, it looks a lot cleaner, and yeah, that's much better in my opinion. So now a bigger engine, this is also a double for one of these, and a mainsail large engine. And I think that we are good to go on our first satellite, probably misspelled, it's L-L-I-T. Not sure. Whatever. So, um, yeah, so it looks about the same. You can see that it's getting close to nighttime. So we can go ahead and skip till it's day. I'll come back when that is the case. Welcome back. It is bright day. Let's turn the SAS on, throttle up most of the way, and lift off. I don't want to throttle up all the way because I noticed that it's a lot easier to overheat since the update. Now, on the bottom right, you can see resources. And you can see that our electric charge is way down because of the fact that I uh, waited throughout the day. And so if we go ahead and look at it, we can see that it is slowly going up, and that is because of the fact that the engine does produce energy when it's going. So we can turn that off, zoom out, and you can also do this thing, set as target, or this debris, set as target, and that means that you can use the computer to help you dock. Which is very, very cool. It's going to be a useful feature for all that stuff. You can see there's an abort button, and if we go uh, IVA, which I can't since uh, we don't have a crewman, uh, it would also show you uh, his view, and there'd be some things added on there. So I will show you that next episode back in KSP. This episode is going to not be part of the series of KSP. Since it's an update video, I decided I didn't want to include it as such. And so, yeah. So now another feature, if you click at the apoapsis, add maneuver. Now you'll see that, oops, let's add maneuver, that we have a whole bunch of different things that you can use. So let's add maneuver and let us use prograde. And you can see that this expands our orbit. But let's say if we didn't want to do that. And we can click on the maneuver, and what else? I was trying to delete it, but it appears that I'm not able to do that. So we can shift our target, oops, for satellite, uh, and we can adjust this. After we get to our apoapsis, let's say we want to burn some more to get into orbit. Uh, Alright, uh, move some more. Alright, there we go. Apoapsis 405. That's a bit too much. 80, 104. Oh, let's move out a bit. And that should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see the countdown to the first burn. Uh, 41 seconds. 29, 28, not 41, excuse me. And you can see also on this blue thing what direction you have to burn. So let's go ahead and fast forward until our burn. All right, three, two, one, burn. Est estimated burn time is going down. You can see the amount of speed that we need to gain. And delta V is going down. 
and we just ran out of fuel and we are tilting fantastic Good job um, so that's going to create problems uh, but no matter, we have a good amount of, uh, ooh, why am I having trouble? Uh, let's turn our, that off. Next stage, begin burning. Okay, 800 meters per second. Okay, that's starting to go down. Ah, uh, that was the second node. So let's just go ahead and, uh, cancel this maneuver. No, we can't cancel that. Strange. But it doesn't matter, we will just keep on burning to orbit regardless of what it says we need to do. So I didn't do that correctly, oh well. Uh, I'm still learning, and since this update, I just got it like an hour ago, so I haven't had that much to, time to learn about it. And so if it does confuse anyone, I apologize in advance. Oop, apoapsis, periapsis, 45, nope, that's not good. 60, it needs to be above 70,000 feet not to re-enter. So 60, 70, okay, that's fine. So now we are in a slightly oblong orbit, and I'm going to try and cancel this. Cancel it. And let's show you what we can do with this. So we can do that, and so now we just have our satellite. And now what we can do is that we can open everything. We can first open our communitron and all of our uh, different parts about uh, communication. So one by one, open them. One by one. Good. Last one. And now we can also open our scientific devices, which are going to be harder to grab. But let's tilt towards this direction. Where's the sun? Alright, now we can, okay, first our thermometer, we can see that it is calculating the temperature. Our gravioli detector is showing at 7.62 meters per second, per second is our acceleration. You can see that our barometer won't work since we are in a vacuum, and that our accelerometer is showing no data since we are not accelerating. Next, we can look at our, hmm, can we? We are slowly running out of power, but now we can open our photovoltaic cells, like so. Each one. And they will open up and face in the direction of the sun automatically. So these are all open up, and we can see that the sun is up there, and that they are receiving power. Now if we tilt just for fun, towards up, we can see that if we hold position, that they will automatically shift into position, and so that looks really cool, at least in my opinion. We look at it, it's charging up extremely quickly. And so this is our first satellite in orbit. I really hope you enjoyed this episode, just getting to see all the new cool things that we get to use in uh, Kerbal Space Program. I will put out another episode of this showing even more stuff because there's no way I could cover this in one episode. And so like, comment, subscribe, leave suggestions about what else you want to see, what I should do uh, for continuing season one with this new 1.8 uh, series. And so until next time.